boy, I'll learn you the game. Now we got the ball, and this is a bat. Uh, you know what the bat's for? No, no, boy, you're supposed to hit the ball with it. The ball! So remember that we're trying to stretch muscles instead of actually flex them. The stretching creates elastic energy, and this elastic energy translates into effortless power. But a modern forehand is more of a stretching way of hitting the forehand. So what we get by that is we get the elastic band effect. We stretch the muscle and then we can snap it back. So it snaps back by itself and we also add power. So the main ways we create these segments in the body are we separate the upper body and the lower body so that's why there's a lot of open stance forehands because when we play open stance forehand we can turn the shoulders more than the hips and so when we do that we create certain torque in the body a certain stretch and then we can pull back these muscles that were stretched a little bit and by that we create power when we go like this there's a stretch here like through the chest muscle and then we can snap back and pull we pull like this and again we create acceleration therefore arm goes forward and the racket falls behind so they create a lot of stretch in the forearm and so the separation is between the forearm and the wrist and so when we create all these stretches then we can really accelerate the racket head now what do we get by that? We get a lot of power. This boy is more mixed up than a feather in a whirlwind. Okay, the key to this one-handed backhand is to keep the upper back, the hitting shoulder and the upper arm as loose as possible. You really want to stretch that out as you pull the racket back. That's going to enable you to generate racket speed with very little effort. It's kind of like pulling that rubber band, you know, you pull, when I stretch it out, it's like I'm pulling that rubber band. See, I'm pulling the rubber band and then I just let it go from there. I don't, I see, I don't think this boy's got all his marbles. But the key, again, upper back, upper arm. See here. See how I've got that stretched out? I'm looking over my shoulder here, okay? That's stretched out, and that enables me to get the speed with very, very little effort. You look at Federer's backhand. Not a lot of effort there. Great technique. So pull it back and let it go. That's the key to a successful one-handed backhand.
Now remember I had talked about uh, the pullback on the backhand and you want to stretch that upper back and upper arm. I like to think of it as like you're stretching out a rubber band. So you're taking that rubber band, you're just pulling it back and then you let it go. Now that's one continual movement of course, so you just pull it back and let it go. So I'm concentrating on that, pulling the rubber band, and also getting the racket a good foot below the ball. So I'm going to turn, I'm here, now I'm going to stretch it out and drop it down. Stretch it out, drop it down, and then I just let it fly. Kid don't stop talking so much, you'll get his tongue sunburned. There's something going on around here that just don't add up. The principle's all wrong. getting through that little old blue bonnet of yours? Yes! Well, woman, blink your eyes or something. Sheesh! It's a bad habit. You should see a psychiatrist. Like who? Like me? I'm going to be a psychiatrist when I grow up. Or maybe a psychoanimalist. Beep, beep. I'm going to be a roadrunner. Beep, beep, chip, bang! Beep, beep. <laughs> this is going to cause more confusion than a mouse in a burlesque show. <laughs> yeah, that's all, folks. Interesting. 